Hello everyone, this is the screencast for Caesar 541, and prior to this, um, the Gauls have tried to attack Cicero's camp, and the Roman soldiers have tried really hard to um, defend their camp and build towers and things like that to defend themselves. Uh, then the leaders and the chiefs of the Nerui who had any approach for an interview and cause um, of friendship with Cicero say they want or they themselves want to talk. And this here is um, a little indirect statement. Uh, Decund starts this uh, indirect statement. Uh, facta potestai, uh, which is an ablative absolute, uh, with permission having been granted, they mention the same things implied, which Ambioris, Ambiorix uh, had discussed with Titorius. And um, this commemorant mentions, um, starts an indirect statement here. So then... Um, he mentions that all of Gaul is in arms, that the Germans had crossed the Rhine, and that uh, the winter camps of Caesar and the rest are being attacked. So notice here how Esse and Opugnari are both present, but Transisse is. Uh, pluperfect, so the first and third statement are um, happening uh, at the moment, but the the Germans had already crossed the Rhine. They add also words implied about the death of Sabinus. Um, they show frequently ambiorix, um, so that, or for the purpose of convincing. And faciendi here is a gerundive with causa, so uh, gerundive purpose, and fidei faciendi just always means convincing. And ostentant is the frequentive of ostendo, so it means to show frequently. They say that they themselves are wrong, are mistaken, if they hoped for anything of protection by these men, or from these men, who distrust their own affairs. Um, that, however, they themselves are in this mind towards Cicero and the Roman population, that, that they object to nothing but the winter quarters, and um, they do not want this habit to become constant. That on their authority, authority is provided here, um, it is permitted for them to um, depart from the winter quarters unharmed and to proceed into whatever parts they wish without fear. Um, so Deacon here um, starts another indirect statement with errare, um, essay, licere, and then um, um, quiquam prisidi is a partitive genitive. Um, and then recusant and nolent are um, subjunctive in a result clause. And um, per se is talking about the near we, and it's on their authority is implied. Again, uh, Cicero uh, replied, uh, just one answer is implied to these. That it's another indirect statement that it is not about 
or it is not a habit of the Roman people uh, to accept a condition from an armed enemy if they are willing to depart from their arms or like put down their arms uh, they may use um, him as an assistant and send legates or administrators to Caesar that he hopes um, from his justice, we're talking about Caesar, um, he wouldn't obtain these things which they had lost. Uh, so, respondent here starts another um, indirect statement. Um, so then, essay and uh, sperare are both um, uh, verbs in the indirect statement. Also, um, this is a condition, so C and then wellent goes w and mitant are both subjunctive in that. Also, um, petiwerent is um, shortened for petiwerent, and impetraturos is, um, uh, there's an implied essay here, and then there's also an implied um, these things going right here. Um, so I think that's all for now. I hope this was helpful.